In this presentation, we will understand two port systems approach. Till now, we have analyzed BJT amplifier circuit with load resistance. We obtained input impedance, output impedance, voltage gain and current gain. We obtained these four parameters for BJT amplifier circuit. We first obtained the AC equivalent circuit. Then we replace the transistor with its equivalent model and finally using the network solving techniques we obtain these four parameters. Now what will you do to obtain these parameters when you have no idea about the circuitry? When you don't know the construction of the circuit then how will you obtain these parameters? And in general scenario you have to deal with packaged products. You have to deal with packaged products if you work as an engineer you have packaged products instead of individual elements now what is a packaged product in case of amplifier packaged product you have amplifier you have amplifier in the packaged product and also the information of voltage gain information of voltage gain and the information of input and output impedances so in package product you have amplifier the circuit of amplifier inside this box plus you know the voltage gain and input and output impedances but there is one very important point that you must remember this voltage gain and this impedances are calculated at no load and because of this reason, we represent the voltage gain by AV and L, where NL stands for no load. So this is what we have in a packaged product. We have the amplifier circuit whose construction we don't require to know because we have the no load voltage gain and input and output impedances. By using these parameters, we can easily obtain these four parameters in loaded condition. So what we have to do, we have to obtain input and output impedances, current and voltage gains in loaded condition when load resistance is connected and how we will obtain these parameters, we will use the no load voltage gain and input and output impedances which is already given with the packaged product. So this is all you should know about the packaged product and now I will answer one very important question. The question is why we are doing this why we have to follow the two port systems approach instead of what we have following till now and what is the advantage of doing this by doing this there is no need to know the internal components of the package as i have already explained you there is no need to know the construction of amplifier circuit what components are inside the package and you can also understand or evaluate the effect of an applied load resistance if you apply the load resistance to the package you can easily analyze the effect and if you also apply the source resistance in this case also you can easily obtain the effect so there are two advantages the first one is you don't have to worry about the internal components and the second one you can quickly obtain the effect of load resistance and source resistance because of these two reasons, we can follow the two port systems approach instead of conventional approach. This box here represents the two port system and this two port system is the BJT amplifier. The input voltage, the input voltage is VI, the input current is II, the input impedance, the input impedance is ZI. The output voltage is VO, the output current is IO and the output impedance is ZO. AVNL is the voltage gain when there is no load resistance connected to this two port system. And now we will use Thevenin's theorem and once we have the Thevenin's equivalent circuit we will substitute it between the output terminals. We already know to find out Thevenin's resistance or Thevenin's impedance ZTH we need to short circuit all the voltage sources 
there is one voltage source vi and we will short circuit vi vi is equal to zero volts and in that case you can see the thevenin's impedance is nothing but the output impedance so zth is equal to zo now we will obtain the thevenin's voltage we will measure the open circuit voltage between the output terminals to find out the thevenin's voltage and you can see the open circuit voltage between the output terminals is VO so thevenin's voltage VTH is equal to the output voltage VO and we already know AVNL the voltage gain AVNL is equal to ratio of output voltage to the input voltage and from here the output voltage VO the output voltage VO is equal to AVNL multiplied with input voltage VI AVNL multiplied with input voltage VI and VO is equal to VTH this means the Thevenin's voltage VTH the Thevenin's voltage VTH is equal to AV NL the voltage gain under the no load condition multiplied with the input voltage so we have the Thevenin's resistance or Thevenin's impedance and we have the Thevenin's voltage now we can easily draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit between the output terminals so let's draw the circuit quickly this is the complete circuit and you can see Thevenin's equivalent circuit between the output terminals this impedance is the Thevenin's impedance and you can see Thevenin's voltage VTH is a dependent voltage source it is voltage dependent voltage source VTH is dependent on the input voltage therefore VTH is a voltage dependent voltage source so I will make one voltage dependent voltage source plus minus and it is the Thevenin's voltage VTH we can easily represent the input impedance as RI there is no problem in representing ZI as resistance and to find out the output impedance ZO we will short circuit the input voltage source VI so let's do this quickly VI is equal to 0 volts and when VI is equal to 0 volts the Thevenin's voltage the Thevenin's voltage VTH is also equal to 0 volts because VTH is dependent on VI and when VI is equal to 0 VTH is also equal to 0 this means we have a short circuit like this and you can see the output impedance the output impedance ZO is simply equal to the Thevenin's impedance ZO is equal to the Thevenin's impedance and ZO ZO we can represent as RO so ZTH is equal to RO so in place of ZTH I will write RO and uh, if you want to find out the voltage VO the output voltage VO then you can simply use the fact that load current load current IO is equal to 0 amps because there is no load and when load current IO or the output current IO is equal to 0 amps drop across resistance RO is also equal to 0 so when drop is equal to 0 the voltage VO is simply equal to VTH VO is equal to VTH or we can write AV NL multiplied with VI so we have everything in this circuit now instead of impedance we have resistance RO so I will make resistance here now let's talk about the current gain AI calculation of current gain is not a big deal you can use a simple formula minus AV where AV is the voltage gain inside the bracket input impedance divided by the load resistance you can use this formula every time to calculate the current gain and this is true in most of the cases 
so this is all you should know about the current gain and uh, i think this is all for this lecture in the next lecture we will analyze this circuit with connected load resistance here we will connect the load resistance rl and uh, we will see the effect of load resistance in the next lecture